What's up, guys? Patrick. Very first bot hack that I'm releasing. Kind of excited about it. And I'm talking today about listen notes in the uh, too long didn't read version. I want to give you an overview of listen notes, why you should sign up, and how to use it. And the first question that comes to mind is what does this have to do with bots? And it does and it doesn't. Uh, why am I bringing this up then? Why is it the first bot hack is really the best question. And let me tell you why. Because this thing is just so damn powerful. Uh, using this service correctly is a serious knowledge hack, serious level up on learning. And I just really, really love it. So let me introduce it first. And so obviously listen notes and it's, they bill itself as the best podcast search engine. He's basically this guy, Wen Bin. I've actually talked to him a little bit, a Chinese guy from, uh, presumably a Chinese guy from San Francisco. Uh, we've had some emails, good dude. And it's the best podcast search engine I've seen, certainly. And it, it, it does a much, much better job than iTunes, which completely sucks. I hate iTunes, terrible, terrible search engine. So on the surface, um, at just uh, the surface level, it's, it's a very, very good search engine. So there's some other ones that are decent, but this one is awesome. So I, I use this to do all my searching and that alone um, makes it awesome in my opinion. But in addition to that, what it does in addition to that is, is what I would say where the magic happens. And so not only does it allow you to search, have trending, um, you know, ooh, look at that. First result from Messenger Marketing. I wonder how that is. So not only does it, and it gives you this whole list of podcasts, not only does it have a great search engine that you can put in any single solitaire keyword, there's like 25 other bells and whistles. But for me, where the real magic happens um, is in this two-pronged feature that they call Listen Later. And this is probably not, you know, instantaneously um, uh, apparent, let's just say. Uh, to, to people that are on there. And again, like when you dive into it, there's some other features, you know, if you're a podcaster, you can claim your podcast, which is why I've got that little blue check mark next to mine. Um, and there's some other stuff that you can do curated list. He's, he's trying a bunch of things with this service, but what's amazing, what's so powerful is this listen later, listen later feature. And what it allows you to do is essentially, and you can see I have three of them here. I have an ASF list. I've got Facebook messenger and then my regular listen later. I'm still sort of experimenting and playing with it. But what this allows you to do is create a playlist, okay, that should be thought of as a podcast in and of itself. He generates an RSS feed that you can then place into your podcasting app, whatever, whatever your podcasting app of choice is, and subscribe to it. And then anything, so when you're, when you're running around and let's just say, get the cap lock off. Let's just say I'm going to search Messenger Marketing again. When you come in here, you can look at any of these and just say, here's, here's an interesting one. Okay, Larry, Mobile Monkey, great. This sounds interesting and I can save it and I can throw it into my listen later. And so what that will then do is if I pull up my phone, I've got this listen later playlist in there. I should have had my phone ready for this. I don't um, on the screen, but it, it throws all of those episodes that I find from my searches into the listen later, which is incredibly powerful because you can just throw in a 10, 15, whatever podcast that you find that you want to learn on a subject, whatever the subject might be. And you've got a podcast of them that you can then listen to later, which is amazing. Additional bonus you know, for you guys that work at companies or gals that work at companies and you've got a team that's working for you and you're discovering some podcast episodes, you're like, oh, this would be so good for my team. You can create a playlist that you just share with your team and you say, hey, team, I want everybody to subscribe to this uh, and I'm going to go ahead and throw in podcasts from time to time that I really want you guys to listen to. And then boom, it's automatically in their feeds. They can just uh, uh, subscribe with whatever they use to, to listen to podcasts. And that's incredible. And so just an amazing, amazing feature just right there. But in addition to that, in addition to that is these listen alerts. And what the listener alerts allow you to do is set up keyword alerts that are kind of like Google alerts, if you could think of Google alerts back in the day, except these keyword alerts are only for podcasts, right? Only for podcasts. So you can see I've got Facebook Messenger, Messenger Marketing, uh, David Cancel, I kind of just threw that on there, but I love that dude. And um, Michael Yang, who's the, the ManyChat founder, right? And so anytime any of these things get mentioned, you get an email. 
And this is so incredibly awesome. I can't even tell you. So you get these um, emails, right? And the emails will show you anything and everything that has been mentioned uh, in your particular niche, right? Like what, what, whatever you decided to, to subscribe to. And it just throws them all in there. So what I find myself doing on a regular basis, and you can see it throws them all into one email. So like there's Mikhail Yang. So he was on this podcast. I probably want to subscribe to that. Check it out. And so, you know, I click on it. It pulls it up. I'm instantaneously given this little um, description about what it is. I can kind of scan this quickly and say, you know what? This sounds interesting. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Save it to your listen later list, right? And then it's in there for you to listen, you know, at your leisure whenever you want to. And that's just amazing, amazing, amazing. And so, you know, as I see in my own usage cases, the, the combination of this listen alerts and listen later is a profound level up in what I'm able to learn. And, and, you know, what is also just so tremendous about it is it sort of flips the notion of what podcasts are on its head. And what do I mean by that? Ordinarily, well, first of all, there are so many podcasts out there on so many niche topics, it's out of control, right? There's no way you could ever possibly subscribe and listen to all of them or discover all of them. And quite frankly, you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to listen to 55 shows. I mean, if, if you're like me, you have you have your like stable of shows, your stable cache of shows that you that you listen to, and that's about it, right? You don't really stray that far out of it. Well, where this completely changes, where it turns it on its head, is you now get into this mode where, based on keywords, and again, you know, you throw in whatever it should be for your niche, right? Like, you know, if your if yours is drone photography, let's say, I just came up with that on the top of my head. Photography, can I spell it? It's going to search everything about drone photography, and I'm going to be able to just go through here and say, I want to learn, I want to level up, and there's going to be like 50 podcasts in here. Let me look at how many different pages. And so you can look at this, throw the ones that you want in there, and have a list of everything on a particular subject that's out there across all of these various different podcasts. And it's amazing. That's an amazing, amazing thing. You know, you know, when you read a book, you know, this is something that took me a while to learn in life. And, you know, I'm almost 40 years old now. So it, it's taken me a while to get here, but I finally gotten here. You know, when you buy a book and you start reading the book and you're like, oh man, I feel I paid money for this thing. I feel like I need to finish it. Uh, let me just, you know, I, I, I'm going to finish the whole thing. I know it's going to drag me on. I don't like it. You get a little bit older in life and you realize you don't have to finish every single solitary book. You really don't. You can just read a little bit, take a thing away or two, and if, you, if you're not liking it, you're not vibing it, throw it away and go get another one. It's, it was a cheap investment. You probably took away what you needed and move on. Or if it was just crap, then you just move on quicker. You get on to the next book. That's what this allows for podcasts. I'll pick a subject, I'll pick a topic, I'll throw 15 different podcasts into my listen later. And, you know, again, you, you, you scan, you scan, this is like my workflow, you scan this once the keyword alert pops and you're like, okay, I've read this, this does sound interesting, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Then you have 10, 15 of them in there and your downtime when you're doing whatever, you're working out, you're riding the subway, da, 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 da. You go through the various different podcasts, but guess what? I'm, I'm in, in, in my case, in the messenger marketing, I'm so fascinated by what all else is coming out. I mean, obviously I have a podcast in it and I haven't released content in a little while. I'm going to get better at that, but it allows me to see what all, who all is using messenger marketing, how are they referencing it and what languages, all of this type of like information that I'm just getting right at my fingertips every single solitary day, like animal facts on messenger, uh, this daily snapshot, these guys are they're publishing a whole bunch and I, I get to see these various different usages, right? But a lot of them I'll throw in and I'll listen to you for about 30 seconds and I'll be like, nope, you know what? Nope. This is, I, there's nothing here for me. I can tell, I can tell just by what they're talking about and I delete it and I move on to the next one. And it's able, it's it, like you do that in, the, in with this profound quickness that just lets you level up so quickly, lets you get this broad based understanding. And moreover, I'm able to see, and in my case, again, Facebook Messenger and Messenger Marketing, that it used to be like only one or two results a day. And now the results are starting to pile up. They're starting to be more and more and more as more people are talking about them, as more people, um, it, it, as Messenger in and of itself grows in um, its prominence. And so that's Listen Notes. Highly recommend you start a free trial. I don't even know what free trial is. I think I just have a free account. I think he's going to charge for this eventually and he can gladly take my money when Ben can because this is just amazing, amazing service. So highly recommend that you sign up I highly recommend that you move your podcast searches to listen notes. It's free. Uh, if you've got a team, create a feed for your team, make them listen, and then set up 
keyword alerts for whatever your niche is, whatever your business is. You're going to discover podcasts that you did not know exist. You're going to discover the thought leaders in your industry, and you're going to discover podcasts to subscribe to. So I think Listen Alerts is a just amazing, amazing hack, and highly recommend you check it out. Highly recommend you sign up and go for it. I'm going to end on that. Bot hack number one in the can. See you for the next one. Yes, yes. Patrick, bots are the win. Thanks for watching my video on YouTube. The question becomes, what are you going to do next? Are you going to watch a new one? Because it'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs>